jump in this thing and see what it'll do. Probably like been at least a day or two since I've recorded anything on this car. I've taken a few pictures, but I haven't recorded anything. Um, just been kind of working away at it. Let's see, right here we have, I had to make all this from scratch, which I'm sure you've seen, that I'll, actually, yeah, I'll post the pictures in this. So yeah, you'll see that I had to make this whole thing from scratch. over there I uh, still still working on that hatch right there I need to cut this whole upper rear window section out and weld in a new piece um, I'm waiting for stuff to come back from blasting because I need the stuff from blasting just so I can even duplicate what I need. Because all this stuff right here is not reproduced. All this roof support stuff right here is not reproduced, especially over there. So I cut some out of a donor car that the car was junk. Don't worry, I didn't, I didn't ruin the car. Um, and I need those, I took them down and had them blasted. I need those pieces so I can duplicate them or re remake them with my bead roller and all that so I can fix these corners. I'm gonna make that new piece up here with the bead roller. Uh, right now I'm putting the trunk pan in so I can mark the bottom side with a silver Sharpie so I'll know where all my frame rails are at and where everything's at that I need to drill holes for. But. I noticed that AMD still hasn't addressed their issue of the trunk pan being a half inch short. So this is one inch from fold to fold. The originals are about a small inch and a half, about an inch and a half I'd say. So the trunk pans are still a half inch short. Now, I am grateful for Andy because without their help, we wouldn't be fixing a lot of these cars. So you can see this is all original metal in here. What's left that's green is all original metal. So that trunk extension, it's in the original location, that wheelhouse, all the original location. Everything fits nice and tight, tucked up. Up there fits all good. The fold is just a half inch short. And also what I don't like is, let me show you down here, the flange that they give us to weld to is short. There ain't no damn flange there. So now I'm just gonna have to MIG weld just the bottom strip of it, but I mean, just little things like that and that half inch in the back, you know, it's, it's not like we're getting this stuff cheap, you know, it would, everybody's paying decent money for these products. It'd be nice that if it fit OEM, like they said, okay? and I, like I said, thank you AMD, just so you do have fitment issues, try and not ignore them. All right. 
now that I'm done bitching, I can get back to working. So I'm gonna take a silver sharpie and basically, uh, uh, what's the word I'm, I'm trying to think of? Anyway, I'm gonna do a layout on the bottom side of this trunk pan and a silver sharpie to, to outline all the frame rails, everything that I'm gonna be welding to. So that way when I pull it out, I drill, I drill holes next to all the silver lines I did and that's where I'll MIG weld down to, to replicate a spot weld. All right, basically calling it, basically it's a plug weld, but you know, I've gotten pretty decent with the MIG welders and everything where I'll start in one corner and then do a quick circle around the, the plug weld and it replicates a, a spot weld. So anyway, back to working. Oh yeah, we welded the uh, package frame. Well, got a little bit more work done today. And I've actually changed my mind on something. I was just going to put half a wheelhouse in here, but the new one showed up and I was like, ah, screw it, I'll just put a whole new wheelhouse in it. It's not that many spot wheels, so those are already drilled out. I'll cut the thing out and drill those uh, package tray supports out. And as you can see, we've got our package tray in. We've got the rear window support in. We've got half a trunk in. We got one rear valence support brace in. So I can't get the other trunk in until I get that wheelhouse on there. Because I have braces welded to the frame rail that is magically holding up the trunk hinge. I didn't want to change the location of that or have to figure out where it was. So it's easier just to go ahead and tack it in place. I get that thing welded. I get the wheelhouse welded in there and weld her all back up. So that's where I'm at. I'm gonna go ahead and continue cutting that wheelhouse out. Next time you see me, it'll be out. All right, wheelhouse is out, Walter. Cool. Well, the inner anyway. It's all cleaned up, ready to put it in. Let's go ahead and test fit it. All right, got Walker here. And GoPro died, so we're just gonna do this on my cell phone. We got this all butt jointed, all the way. This is a single piece trunk pan that I split, and then we're gonna weld it together and grind it flush, so that way it'll look like a one piece. Uh, I had to do a little modifying here. You can see we're trying to pull the trunk pan this way, and then we're trying to pull the trunk pan this way. See, this side here is all welded up, so that way I did, I'm basically just trying to suck this side over. Um, had to modify. The wheelhouse just a little bit right there you heat it up and then hammer it in just to get that corner to go in so that way all of our joints would line up correctly see perfecto perfecto and it's light down here you notice there's a difference right there that's because i had lengthened this side almost a half inch to get it to sit flush with the uh, uh rear valence so we're gonna have to do the same thing to this side. We're gonna have to flatten this whole panel out and straighten it out and then re-bend it just to get it to sit flush because it's a tad bit short. We have already mapped out the whole bottom side of the trunk. Basically just take a silver sharpie and mark everywhere the frame rails, the support braces, everything are. So that way when we pull the trunk pan out, we know where to mark holes to drill them so that way we can plug weld the trunk pan down just like we did right here. It'll go and then so that's where I'm at right now. I'm gonna pull this back out, drill the crap out of it, and then stuff her back in. Oh, actually, you know what? Drill the crap out of it and lengthen that right there. Time to come out. <laughs> almost done Sam oh she's looking for a light on the ground 
Oh, I never gave it to me. All okay, right, well, it's another, actually, we got some crap on the screen. Or not crap, but sweat. All right, so it's the next day. We got the seam all welded up. All the way to the front, light in your face. We got the wheelhouse in, trunk pans welded in. Uh, I need to weld this guy right there. That's the uh, rear valence support. And these little tech tips right here. See those welds? They are like, you can't really see shit, huh? Okay, there you go. See those uh, MIG welds? They're freaking flat. And how I do that is, I drill a 5 16 hole. Well, let me get this down here again. Drill a 5 16 hole, and then you start on one end with the MIG welder at high heat, low wire speed, and you just do a quick circle with it. And that'll give you an imitation of a spot weld. So, maybe we'll get this thing welded there. And then we gotta finish welding the rear valence to the new trunk pan on the side. I'm gonna go ahead and get on that. Flat, huh? to get the spot weld that center in a minute or two or three or ten or <laughs> Today feels like summer is actually almost over. It's actually somewhat cool today. It's only going to be like 90. <laughs> All right, well, I got the uh, rear window filler panel just clamped in place and screwed so that way I know exactly where it's going to be sitting. I need to make all this stuff right here is not, re well, actually, the corner panel is reproduced, which goes to about this point. But what's under this is not reproduced. This is the roof structure here. I have to make this. And I am missing 
this isn't flat here. It's not just a flat piece of metal. It says there it's actually raised up. So I'm going to have to put this on the bead roller and put a 90 degree lip there about a half inch deep and then weld it to that edge. So that way I will have my uh, inner roof structure for the rear window support back in place. Then I can start making the filler piece for the quarter panel. And this side over here is even worse. I gotta make a lot more on this side. Oh well. And then I gotta make this piece here. That sucks. Well, we gotta get on it. piece is now done and made now I got to go through the painstaking process of making the inner sail panel from all the way to the top all the way to the bottom here's my little template I drew up real quick I take it over my buddy's place just so I can bend it the size here that side and that side so I'm gonna run that over there see if I can't do that it turned out pretty good looks looks almost factory See, this side's all done too. I to patch all that up. So I need to do all that just so I can put the rear window filler panel on. Then I can put the plenum underneath. And then I think I'm done with, oh, no. I still gotta patch this piece in here and here. So, all because we're trying to save this look. Well, now I get to a drive spur. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ah, no.